Welcome back to my channel, Tea Time Style Type. Today I'm very excited to share a wish list item with you. That is this beautiful vintage Lorna London handbag. So she is beautiful. Here is a close up. Now this is a smaller model. I'm not sure which one. I will have to go on their website to see. I just saw it pop up online and I couldn't believe the deal that she was and I couldn't say no. So just for reference, let's go ahead and get the measurements out of the way. Then I'll talk a little bit more about it. So this particular handbag, the strap drop is four inches across the handle measures five inches in height she measures six inches the width she is expandable is about two inches across I would say she measures seven inches and in height about six inches. Now this handbag was a little bit smaller than I thought. She does have a magnetic opening and a suede anterior. There is a pocket inside here where there is a mirror, a zipper compartment, the back has a um, pocket as well, and it's just a very simple, elegant handbag. And I'll give you a little bit of a closer look. So there is a significant amount of wear and tear, which is normal on a vintage bag. You can see that there's quite a few scratches. Um, this is the emblem of Lorna. It is a rope braid. I don't know as much as I should about this brand, but I'll go ahead and do some research. The handle is a little bit loose. It's This has uh, been well loved and taken care of. You can see the clips here are where the strap would normally attach. It did not come with a strap or a dust bag. Here is a look at the back plating. Now on the back here, um, the leather you can see has a few indentations. I am going to try some leather conditioner to see if that will help with it, but it's pretty soft. Here is a look at the back pocket. On the side here, this is a flexible uh, handbag. There are no feet on the bottom. You can see some wear on the corners here from being put on the ground. When you open it, it is a magnet. You can see where the um, top, the flap of the bag has closed a couple times and scratched it, but that's again to be expected. I'm going to try polishing this and see what happens. Here is a look at the inside. It is a suede interior, very soft. The little mirror that it comes with. and the zipper. Now this does um, say in here, if I can get this to focus, by appointment of Her Majesty Queen Elizabeth, manufacturer of handbags and leather goods, Lerner London LTD. Now Lerner is the official handbag carried by the queen. They've been around uh, for quite a while. Um, Here's a look at the zip, and let me see if I can do this, and a look at the interior pocket there. 
Uh, going back to Her Majesty the Queen, all of their bags are handcrafted for her. And uh, she was actually gifted a Lorner handbag by her mother, the late Queen Mother. And since then, she has only carried this particular handbag. They do make it special for her. I believe the handle drop here, for example, is longer so it can fit on her hand. I believe she has over 200 in her collection, which is pretty amazing. Now this leather is very, very soft and kind of buttery is what I would say. Um, I believe it's calf skin. I don't know. I think it's grained. Yeah. I will have to again do some more research, but it's very, very soft, plushy. So I do have a couple items so we can do a what's what fit. My everyday essentials. I have a mask, phone, this is the iPhone 11, wallet, card case, and sunnies. I'm going to go ahead and put them in the handbag for you. This is a tight squeeze for the phone, but my iPhone does fit. It has to go right in the center here. Um, I would say this wall, this is a small handbag, so I wouldn't put too much in there. Just putting these items. See how my... Um, Sunglasses have a difficult time here. They actually won't fit unless I take them out. And maybe, let me see if I can get this card case here. Maybe I can fit these back here. And will she close? Yeah. So she does close, but this is going to distort this. So I actually would not recommend putting my sunglasses in there but I will put my mask and that's about the full capacity of the bag now if I do not put my phone I can fit the sunglasses in there with no problem you know the mask sunglasses card case And bada bing, bada boom. Alright. Now, if I was going to attempt to fit my full size wallet, it will take up the entire size of the purse. And that would be the only thing. Maybe I could fit my phone. I could try to fit. And I don't want to distort this, but it will not fit. So definitely have to use a card case if we're going to be using that. I will probably only put these big three and maybe a lipstick or a lippy in there. And that is it. It does not distort. So again, very, very small handbag. That is pretty much all that fits. But again, it's beautiful bag here. So just a few more things. Uh, if you are looking to purchase this bag, they do have a couple on eBay. I've seen a few on Vessier Collective. The prices do range quite a bit. I've seen them as low as 300, as high as 1500 plus. If you are looking to get this second hand, I would wait to try and find one on the Japanese market. I've seen them, I believe 215 was the cheapest. This one I paid just over 350 US dollars for. It did come from uh, the UK and I did not do quite a bit of research just because there are vintage ones that do not have this uh, rope braid, but that is something that's iconic that I wanted for me. I probably would not go this small if I were you. I thought this would be a little bit bigger. Um, just for reference, I forgot to show this. The cell phone does fit in the back pocket, but I don't want to distort the leather. This is just going to be a more formal handbag for me. 
Um, they can be ordered online or bought through Fortnum Mason or Selfridges. They also, if you are going to order from Lorner, can be made custom to you. You can pick the style and the colors. It is part of their bespoke service. They do normally retail on the low end from about $1,400 US dollars to $3,000 plus. Uh, you will have to contact them if you do want the bespoke bag just in order to find out what the lead time is in order to get it made and to see what is available. Now, Lorna did just release a special Jubilee line in honor of the Queen's Jubilee, so you might want to check that out. And if you have any questions about Lorna, please be, feel free to let me know. There's not too many videos out there, so I'm very happy to share. This is something I've been so happy about if you've watched my last videos to add, or my wishlist videos for the last two plus years to add to my collection. So I'm very happy to have her. Uh, if you do have Aspinall of London handbags or a, I'm trying to think of another, I would say a very small coach bag, um, that's about what the size is. It's roughly between the mini Mayfair and the midi size Mayfair, uh, just for reference. So I hope that has helped you. I hope you liked this video and I'll see you guys on the next go around. Don't forget to like and subscribe.